Howdy folks, it's your friend Fishing with Dom, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about using stand-up jigs for walleye. Now, first things first, as the as a master, self-proclaimed walleye jigging angler, I must say that I firmly believe stand-up jigs aren't utilized to their full potential. Everywhere I look, uh, regardless of the, what Facebook forum it is, what YouTube video, uh, who I'm talking to in tackle shops and on the phone, not many walleye anglers, even jigger, like even big time jiggers, they don't utilize the stand up jig as much as they should. I know I don't, and I know looking around the community, stand up jigs have a lot to offer walleye anglers, especially when it's their time to shine. Now, you fish a stand-up jig for walleye a lot of the times when they're nipping at baits, a lot of the times when it's very cold outside, especially when cold fronts come through in early spring, late fall, early winter. And a stand-up jig shines very, very bright during these times because it offers the bait positioned on the bottom with zero motion. Just like this, let me shine that up to the, show that off to the camera. Stand-up jigs position your bait to sit vertically when in the water. Unlike uh, a regular round ball jig that would just crash and hit the river bottom just like this, the stand-up jig, because it's positioned upwards, that fish is going to come along, see the minnow or worm bait coming off of it, and pick it off just like that. Just suck it up off the bottom and that's something that I've done a bit on a few Michigan rivers over the years since I started using them in specific this jig is the bait rigs oddball jig it's a very very popular stand-up jig but another good one that I've personally used in the in recent years was the Bass Pro Shop XPS stand-up jig a very flat bottom stands out pretty well it's available in a lot of sizes up to a half ounce or so and Northland they make stand-up jigs as well there's a lot of different tackle companies out there but as far as the tried and true the oddball jig it's been around forever because it works the Bass Pro Shop XPS that's a good stand-up jig as well those are the only two I have personally used, but if, if you have used a stand-up jig before in the past that wasn't one of those, let me know. I'd really like to hear your thoughts and input about it. So when you're jigging with a stand-up jig part, let me just set that down real quick. You just, you know, cast or drop it off the boat and bring it back, and then you let that bait sit there on the bottom, and it's going to be just like that. And while that bait is paused there and that walleye has the opportunity to come up and just peck at it a little bit, you're going to want to make sure there is no slack in your line. This is where a highly sensitive line, like, like a quality fluorocarbon or a good fused super line like a fire line or power pro, that's where those lines really shine because when that walleye comes through, he's barely going to peck at it. And with zero slack in your line, you're going to be able to feel just a little a little love tap down there. And sock it to them, wham bam, turkey and ham, you're going to get that fish when a lot of other anglers are going to struggle to put any fish in the boat. When those walleyes get locked jaw, you got to throw them a curveball sometimes. And stand-up jigs, they do it. They absolutely do it. Now you can use live bait, artificial baits, whatever the heck you want to use. And when it comes to rigging them, you can rig an artificial or a minnow bait as you, a regular minnow bait, natural, if you will, just like this. Or you can rig it, let me grab my second one down here. You can rig it uh, almost weedless. I'm trying to think of the word to describe it. You just thread the hook point through the worm like that, and then you just bury the hook into the worm like that so it's pretty weedless you might leave the tip exposed a little bit let me see it's 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 hard to show this off for the camera might leave the tip exposed a little bit but when this bait is sitting on the bottom and they peck at it your hook points barely exposed 
So you'll be able to get it to them then. If that works better for you, uh, a lot of this also depends on the bait you're using. With worm baits, if it also has the support from the top of the hook, it'll position the bait up a little bit more so the walleyes will come through and they'll get it. If it's rigged all the way through, because this is a long kind of flimsy bait, it's going to be hanging off of the back side. But little worms... Little artificial, little artificial worms and minnows just like these two, they work very, very well for walleyes. Natural baits work well. In general, jigs have always been able to catch walleyes any time, any day of the year. But what kind of jig and what kind of action is what it really boils down to. So stand-up jigs, use them. It doesn't matter if you're fishing Red Lake, Lake of the Woods, Schemagog, the Saginaw River, uh, few, late, anywhere you want. Where there's a cold front pushing through and those walleyes are kind of tight and they need more time to pick up the bait at their leisure, the stand-up jig, that's your option. I promise. Now, as I said before, if you've fished with any other stand-up jig or if you have any stand-up jig experience, let me know in the comment section below. Or if you have any other video ideas or suggestions, I would love to hear them. Be sure to have a great day, enjoy the fishing, and share some kindness. We'll throw that one in there for a little extra tidbit of advice for today. But until next time, I'm Fishing with Dom. You be sure to take it easy. Bye-bye.